mystery respiratory illness is speeding across the Midwest, sending hundreds of children and teenagers to the hospital. We just had uh, the emergence of a totally new mutant organism in Rwanda. A 21-month-old Michigan toddler has died from another virus, the enterovirus. We live in a dangerous world, but it used to be far more dangerous, especially for children. If you are coming of age in 1918, 1919, you as a child are facing a multiplicity of hurdles to get to the age of 10. There was still no way to treat infection. Either the body cured it or you died. There's typhoid fever, there's scarlet fever, measles, mumps, rubella. Back then, there was even smallpox. Diphtheria was one of the most common killers of teenagers. Childhood diseases of the 20th century were ever-present threats. Some of these viruses or bacteria not only could kill you, but they could cause you to have permanent disability of the brain or of the kidneys or of the spinal cord. One man would change that. He was motivated by one thing. He wanted to try and make vaccines that could prevent every disease that could possibly hurt or kill a child. That was it. That was what motivated him. He was somebody who used a combination of intellectual brilliance, creativity, with this amazing ability to see the big picture and get things done. He really is somebody who fundamentally changed the world. Arguably the greatest scientist of the 20th century. Most people have never heard his name. Eight million children every year owe their existence to him. I mean, who in our history can say that? It's just an amazing American story.